So first we will talk about things which are not changed from ECC into S4 HANA and uh, are, are same uh, as is, there is no change. So if, if you go to the transaction currency, there is no change. Transaction currency is still a base currency. There is nothing which is changing from the transaction currency perspective. Local currency, there is no change from local currency perspective. You can, when you are defining your company code, you have to choose your currency and uh, you have to make sure that, okay, you are able to uh, choose a proper cu currency setting at that time. If you see here, when you are defining the, the company code itself, you have to choose what is your currency and what is your country key. So these are two basic uh, important things which we'll have to make sure that okay, you understand. When uh, we are um, going to define any parallel currencies which are like hard currency or index currency. So in previous courses, we talked about that. Okay, if you are defining that, you will have to go and define the country level setting. So in at the country level, you will have to choose what is your index currency or what is your hard currency. Uh, if you don't choose this, you will not be able to make currency parallel currency settings and uh, it is it is kind of a mandatory activity you have to do before you uh, choose to define the parallel currency then third one we talked about is the controlling area currency where uh, it's it's defined at client level and uh, normally the cu currency type is 20 for cost accounting and uh, many Companies which don't use the group currency also use 20 as uh, cost accounting currency in controlling area. Uh, but it is recommended that we should use 30. Uh, and the reason behind that is that, okay, uh, 30, uh, which is a group currency, is also available in FI. And if there is a data transmitting from FI into CO or asset management um, uh, uh, or vice versa, then it's it's recommended that you have same setting everywhere so that you can use when you are posting transactions, you can make sure that, okay, they are all look alike. Uh, also, the valuation profile is assigned at controlling area level. So let's look at it. So when, if you see here, the you define your controlling area currency and in this valuation profile you assign the valuation profile so why valuation profile if you are trying to use group valuation or profit center valuation for uh, transfer pricing perspective then you have to make sure that okay you first assign uh, the currency valuation profile so that you will be able to use 31 um, or 32 as the group currency uh, or profit center uh, uh, like group valuation uh, or profit center valuation concept so these things are not changing and uh, also uh, functional currency there is no change and uh, we don't have any currency type to define as a functional currency but you have uh, many buckets available now so you can choose if you want to go as a separate currency type for functional currency and you can define your custom currency type and we'll talk about that. Valuation types is also not changing. It's same if you are using transfer pricing, you are keeping the same group legal or profit center valuation and you can define with your, when you are defining your currency settings, you can define what currency type you want to use and what is your valuation type for that so these as is no change